In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Act of Contrition My Lord Jesus Christ, true God and true man, my Father and Redeemer, behold at thy feet a poor sinner who has so grievously afflicted thy loving heart. O lovable Jesus! How could I have offended thee and filled with bitterness the heart that loves me so and has spared no effort to attain my love? How great has been my ingratitude! But, O my Savior, be consoled, be consoled, I say to thee. Now I find myself repentant, such grief I feel for the afflictions I have caused thee I would like to die of pure sorrow and contrition. O my Jesus! Who could make me weep for sin as thou hast wept for it in thy mortal life? My soul is oppressed for having offended thee. Eternal Father, in satisfaction for my offenses I offer thee the affliction and the sorrow the heart of thy divine Son has felt for them. And thou, O loving Jesus, give me such a horror for sin that from now on it may make me avoid even the most trifling of faults. Depart from my heart, earthly affections. I do not want to love anything now but my most bountiful Redeemer. O my Jesus, help me, strengthen me and pardon me. My mother of perpetual help, intercede for me and obtain for me the pardon of my sins. Preparatory Prayer O most blessed Virgin Mary, who to inspire us with boundless confidence has been pleased to take the sweet name of Mother of Perpetual Help, I implore thee to come to my aid always and everywhere, in my temptations, after my falls, in my difficulties, in all the miseries of life and, above all, at the hour of my death. Give me, O loving Mother, the desire, nay more, the habit always to have recourse to thee, for I feel assured that, if I am faithful in invoking thee, thou wilt be faithful in coming to my assistance. Obtain for me, then, this grace of graces, the grace to pray to thee without ceasing, and with childlike trust, that by means of my constant plea, I may ensure thy perpetual help and final perseverance. Bless me, O tender and solicitous mother, pray for me now and at the hour of my death. Amen. First Day Meditation The Title of Perpetual Help among the innumerable titles under which Christian piety is pleased to invoke the Blessed Virgin, there are few that are as likely to lift our hearts and fill them with unlimited confidence as the sweet name of Mother of Perpetual Help, a name that pleases her so. To convince you of this, consider on the one hand what the life of man on earth is, and on the other hand what the name of Our Lady of Perpetual Help means. Truthfully, what is life but a chain of miseries, dangers, afflictions, and labors? In the temporal order who is exempt from illness or from poverty? Who is there who does not have to weep? In the spiritual order who knows how on every occasion to be on guard against the great misfortune of sin, against the snares of lukewarmness, against the coaxing of temptations? Who does not weaken from time to time in the service of God, in the practice of virtue and who does not tire at times in the path of good? Finally, what Christian does not tremble at the thought of the decisive and difficult moment of death, of the purifying fire of purgatory? In view of such miseries and necessities the soul, overwhelmed, feels herself weakening and would like to burst into tears. But, upon hearing the sweet name of Mother of Perpetual Help, it becomes serene, it takes courage and continues joyfully on her path toward eternity. Why? because it then feels that its lamentations are not lost in a desert, but that they find a gracious echo in the heart of a mother who desires and is able to help her. In truth, the Virgin of Perpetual Help means a remedy for all the evils that afflict us a remedy not just for a day, but perpetual, from the cradle to heaven, help in everything and help at all times. Perpetual help means consolation in afflictions, in poverty, in illness, in labors, strength to give up sin, whether mortal or venial and not to fall into it again. Perpetual help means fidelity in the service of the Lord and of the Virgin herself and, therefore, final perseverance. Perpetual help means courage in the practice of virtue, special protection in the terrible hour of death, prompt and efficacious relief in the dreadful prison where just souls who are still indebted to divine justice suffer before entering the heavenly homeland. Perpetual help means that, even when circumstances or situations occur where everything seems hopeless, there is still one certain recourse, the protection of the Blessed Virgin. Meditate and ask for what you wish to obtain from Our Lady of Perpetual Help.
joys. Thou art perpetual help and ein. Come, therefore, I implore thee. Come hasten to assist me. O mother sweet and kind. Hear, O virgin pure. Our fervent prayers of love. That fly to thee above. On the altar where I kneel. Come hasten to assist me. O mother sweet and kind. Stained by guilt and sin. I bow my head and cry. And at thy feet I sigh. For clemency and love. Come hasten to assist me. O mother sweet and kind. Free my careless soul. From all its tepid ways. And set my soul ablaze. With fervor in devotion. Come hasten to assist me. O mother sweet and kind. If my virtue wanes. When tempests howl and roar. My energies restore. Beloved morning star. Come hasten to assist me. O mother sweet and kind. Wretched in this veil. Of pain and tribulation. For heavenly consolation. I humbly beg of thee. Come hasten to assist me. O mother sweet and kind. To thy faithful child. Encouragement provide. And toward virtue guide. His weak, unsteady steps. Come hasten to assist me. O mother sweet and kind. Free my fickle heart. From all its lassitude. And grant it fortitude. To lead a sinless life. Come hasten to assist me. O mother sweet and kind. In the final clash. With death in all its fright. How great my soul's delight. If then I can exclaim. Come hasten to assist me. O mother sweet and kind. In purgatory's fire. Dear mother, please be sweet. Great lady, I entreat. Alleviate my pains. Come hasten to assist me. O mother sweet and kind. Grant me, mother dear. As fond farewell to thee. To sing unceasingly. With love and praise to thee. Come hasten to assist me. O mother sweet and kind. Ejaculatory Prayer O mother of perpetual help, may thy name never depart from my lips, nor forsake my heart. Exercise A visit to the image of Our Lady of Perpetual Help, reciting ten Hail Marys and commending to her all your necessities and those of your family. Prayer O mother of perpetual help, for the ingratitude with which until now I have repaid thy mercies and those of God I deserve as just punishment by depriving me of thy favors for an ungrateful one is no longer worthy of fresh favors. But, O oh my sweet mother, no matter how great my ingratitude is, thy kindness is even greater. Do not disdain, therefore, to help a poor sinner who confides in thee. Thy heart overflows with charity for all, and never has one heard it said that any unfortunate soul has left thy feet without having his tears dried. Do not forget my miseries. Intercede for me before the God of goodness, who refuses thee nothing, and prove once more that thou art worthy of the sweet name of perpetual help. Concluding Prayer May the Virgin of Perpetual Help be loved, praised, invoked, and eternally blessed. May she be my hope, my love, my mother, my refuge, and my life. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.